my father was a mechanic uh, by trade and they, between him and my uncle we used to do uh, they used to do cars up and so body repairs and mechanical and like everything everything that I've learned has literally been self-taught. My earliest memory would be when, well, because I've got photos of it, I remember it. Uh, before I was one year old, I was in a in a walker with a, a polishing rag polishing the back bumper bar of a 1966 classic that my mother used to own. So that would be the, the earliest of that. And then when I got into my, oh, actually, even before I was 10, I was always helping dad with cars forever. We've, we've always had many cars around our, uh, around us. Well, what I learned with dad was uh, pretty much everything. Like my father was a mechanic uh, by trade and they, between him and my uncle we used to do, uh, they used to do cars up and so body repairs and mechanical and like everything, everything that I've learned has literally been self-taught. So if I've picked it, I've picked it up either off of them or um, it's yeah, I've self-taught whatever I've needed to know. Some of the cars I used to work on was obviously a lot actually like what I work on now. We used to play with a lot of the Rambler stuff and uh, the Cadillac and um, Dad had Plymouths and yeah, we had some Minis and uh, some early Fords and a couple of Holdens. So we've had pretty well a variety of everything over the years growing up and um, I just sort of stuck with the Rambler brand, I like them. <laughs> so my first Rambler was actually my mother's car, it was a 65 Rambler Classic and, uh, and when I was 12 years old Dad gave that to me. Um, that was my first Rambler, the first one I bought was the 70 Rebel, the first one I've ever bought and I've still got that. Um, I've had many, I still own many but I've had many over the years. Um, also had Valiants for a little while but yeah my my first one I got when I was 12. Mid 90s, um, my father had someone come in and wanted to buy it and another one that he had and so um, yeah we sold them off and I wished I hadn't have. <laughs> I guess I've always just liked something different. Um, first registered car was a Valiant so while my friends had Fords and Holdens and things like that I had the Valiant and then um, yeah, I've always because I've always known the Ramblers because I've been around them for my whole life. I just like something different all the time, and uh, these are definitely out there. They're de definitely different, and a lot of people don't realise that they actually were an Australian-built car. So um, yeah, to have an Australian-built car that's American-based, which a lot of them were anyway. I mean, Ford was American, General Motors was American, so literally it's the same thing. But um, yeah, I don't know, I guess, I guess I just really like the looks of them, the styling of them, the, everything about them. And it doesn't matter what year model it is. <laughs> Why doesn't AMC have a cult following like Ford and Holden? Well, uh, I guess that's more that back in the day when they were new, they were actually a very expensive car. So um, uh, for someone to have one of these back in the 60s and 70s, they literally had to have money pretty much to be able to afford one. Uh, whereas your, your Ford and your Holden and your Valiants and stuff like that, they were for your family car and more affordable back in the day. So my daughter does work for me. Um, she's, I guess she's just picked up on the joy of the car themselves and she's actually a trade uh, house painter but uh, she wanted to come and do something a bit different and um, everything she touches, she just does exactly what she's doing every single time. Okay, so this is my daughter's car, 1965 Rambler Classic 770. Um, this is actually a New Zealand car here in Australia. We got V8s in all ours. And this one's actually got the, the 2326 cylinder, 3.8 litre, um, automatic. Very proud of her. She uh, just recently finished fully restoring this car herself and then we did the 3,000 odd kilometre round trip to Albury and back in it and uh, yeah, performed perfectly for her and got a lot of, uh, lot of response and a lot of um, comments at the show we went down to and uh, I think she's done an absolutely fantastic job painting the car herself, two-tone, overnight. We painted this in the shed um, and uh, yeah, th <laughs> through one night. <laughs> is there anything missing I'd like to get my hands on in AMC wise? Yeah, there is. Um, the 70 Rebel that I've got out the front, they actually made a 70 Rebel, what they call the machine. It's a two-door, 390 V8, four-speed manual, 
It was their race car back in the 70s, um, 1970s. So red, white and blue, of course, patriotic for America. Um, that's the one that I'd really like to get hold of. And I will, I will get hold of one. Um, I know, I've got a lot of feelers out there at the moment, but <laughs> with the dollar at the moment, it's not so crash hot, so. <laughs> but uh, I'll find one, and I'll get one, and I'll drive it in America, and then I'll bring it back here. <laughs> that's just what we do.